You know, I want to give a quick update on Parkinson's disease specifically. And uh, not that I know this is be a cure, but it's kind of making a lot of sense from a lot of things I've read over the years. Like I said, I'm an amateur with this type of stuff, but I'm uh, pretty well read. Let me put it this way. And I use a lot of common sense. Now, this is Nature's Way Alive. I kind of endorsed this product. I don't sell it or nothing. But if you look on the back here, you know, I don't know if you can see this very well, but if you look at uh, B6, it's uh, quite a good dosage of it. It has quite a bit of the recommended requirement, and um, it's 2,500% actually. Now, one of the things that's recommended for Parkinson's, if you look, it's a little bit controversial, is like higher doses of B6. And one thing I can tell you, like, it's kind of related to a lot of this different stuff. Like, like also, if you look at this one, for, this is uh, from Puritan's Pride. Also, it has a lot of um, B6 in it also. It's 2,500%. Uh, now, what's been known about the B vitamins, a lot of times you see them sold as stress tabs, and it's been known that they help with the nerves somehow. Now, B6 has been a little bit controversial. It has some downsides to it. I'm not going to get into that, but it also it can be helpful with Parkinson's in some cases. But it's cheap. It's cheap. But you have to take a higher amount of it. It's not like you can't just take the recommended daily required amount of it. It's got to be a little bit higher. Not saying it's going to be a cure all, but something that's worth worthwhile to do. But like I said, a lot of times you see B vitamins sold as stress tabs. They've been known to help, higher doses of B vitamins have been known to help with stress, help in the nerves, help repair the nerves. You know, it's conventional wisdom that the nerve tissues really can't repair itself. Maybe that's changing, but it's also more alternative, unconventional wisdom, I'll put it this way, that B vitamins can help repair nerve tissue. They also seem to be, if you take B vitamins in higher doses in the morning, what will happen is... Um, it'll feel like you took a shot of coffee. You don't really want to take them at night because it can keep you awake. Then I put the other one out about niacin, which is just, just the flush-free type, um, where it doesn't make your face red because you feel like your face is flushed out. It's a type that doesn't do that. This can help with, uh, it's been claimed by a lot of other studies that it helps with schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, and all this type of stuff. You see, B vitamins seem to work with a lot of issues of the nerves, and Parkinson's is one issue of the nerves from what I would understand. So uh, it does seem to make sense in a real uh, quick way that B6 could be helpful. It's been stated across some other studies that B6 can be very helpful with Parkinson's, but you got to take a higher dosages of it. And uh, the other thing is... Um, with these other vitamins, there's other benefits of like B2, B6, and B12 can also help keep your blood veins, your veins and arteries clearer of plaque and build up on the inside. They can help. Uh, actually, a lot of times people will be told by doctors to take B12 under the tongue because it can help with the heart. Uh, so like when you're taking these things, it has a number of little benefits. And you know, a lot of times if you look like, for instance, like if you look at a B50 complex, it has a lot of vitamins. If you didn't get this one, you can get like a 500 day supply for 25 bucks off of puritanspride.com, puritan.com. So it's cheap, you know, like I'm not trying to recommend any high dollar thing. And you know, this is the reason why it's probably not pushed that much in medicine because there's no revenue in it. You know, if you're looking at, you know, if you look on a breakdown of all the revenue coming in from some products, you're definitely not going to look at vitamins if you're a doctor. <laughs> you know, it may be, it's just like a little adjunct. It's not going to bring you in big business with this stuff. Now, maybe if you're an expert, you know, at it where you understand how to work the vitamins in different quantities to help people, that might bring you some bucks. But, uh, you know... I don't like giving them any ideas because I think they're too much with money. But anyway, also uh, just want to point out, it's always been known that somehow a lot of the B-complex vitamins are very helpful with repairing nerve damage, stress, helping you keep more alert, uh, fighting anxiety, depression. And B6 specifically, it's probably it's been uh, claimed by some to actually help greatly with Parkinson's. So cost-wise, it's cheap. But I would recommend you don't just get... 
B6. You get like Nature's Way Alive, which has a lot of B6 in it, or you get a multivitamin from Puritan's Pride, or you get a combination of B vitamins in one pill and take that because, you know, you'd want to have B2, B3, B6, B12, and, you know, B1, and all the vitamins that are in the complex so they all work together. Probably also better to have a time release so you don't get a one big wake up charge in the morning and it wears off. The time release B vitamins can probably last up to like eight hours. So those are good to get too. Those are good to get. They're a little more money but they're worthwhile too. Various places sell them. I don't sell them or nothing but I'm just pointing out if you have problems with stress or if you have problems with Parkinson's you might want to look into B complex vitamins like niacin is good for anxiety, depression, and kind of that type of stuff. B6 is supposed to be good for Parkinson's. B12 is supposed to be good for the heart. B2, B6, and B12 are good for keeping the veins and arteries clean. So you want to have them in a higher dosage, though. You don't have to worry about toxicity of B vitamins because, in most cases, unless it's combined with something else that's a medicine or something, but it's they're water-soluble vitamins, so they're really... You know, it's not easy to get uh, too high of a dose of them. It's pretty difficult to happen. So, pretty safe stuff, and obviously, they're all over the counter. So, that's my recommendation specifically on Parkinson's B6 with the other B vitamins included.